All right, here it is, day one of the World Series. Remember this face, this very happy, hopeful, optimistic face, because in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna need to, you guys to remind me how excited I was for the World Series. Today is the very first day of the $500 housewarming event. There's gonna be a massive amount of people. 30 minute levels, I've already missed the first level. I expect a long line, but I'm only waiting one time. I brought some cash with me to load up onto my account. So anyway, enough talk, let's get in there and play poker. I'm excited. If you get a seat at Bally's, you're gonna be walking down this long hallway, which opens up to a room. It's very similar to the Brasilia room from the Rio, but it's much larger and a lot brighter. Also a lot hotter. <laughs> they tried to put fans in the doorways to cool it off. I think their AC wasn't working, but hopefully by the time you make it out here, it'll be a lot cooler. It's right next to a room that looks exactly like the old Amazon room where all the final tables happen. All the excitement is over there. So on break, you can check that out as well. So much excitement already buzzing in this room. This is a first experience for 100% of people in here being in the Bally's and Paris properties. We have brand new chips and I'm ready to kick things off with a fiery one. I raise ace queen offsuit on the button over two limpers to 2000. Big blind and both limpers come along. So four of us see king 10 three with two clubs. And when it checks to me, I think this hand is gonna be easier if I start by betting, especially with the ace of clubs. There's a lot of turns that I can continue on. So I throw out 2,500. Hijack and cutoff both come along. So the three of us see the turn, which is an eight of clubs. They both check to me again. So I decide to bet this turn. I make it 11,000 and just the hijack calls. He did take a while before calling, so I'm hoping to get him off of whatever hand he has by the river. The river is a four of hearts. When he checks to me again, I'm sticking with the plan. We have less than a pot size bet remaining, so I put him all in for 26,600 total. Put him a little bit through the ringer. He goes back and forth. Unfortunately though, <laughs> he calls it off and I couldn't believe what he flips over. Woo, just one pair. Yeah. He has king queen offsuit, just one pair, already down to a fifth of starting stack. Not looking great, but let's see if we can spin it up. Half hour later, I finally get my spot. I jam king queen offsuit on the button for my remaining tiny little 5,600. Big blind makes the call and I get it in way ahead of his king 10 of hearts. But the flop comes out jack 10, three, two hearts absolutely terrible. The turn is another 10. I've already packed my things. Guy across the table yells, no ace. Oh, oh, nice. wow. Wow. <laughs> and bink, we hit it on the river, making the nuts straight. And now all of a sudden we have fold equity again. Next, I open queen 10 of clubs from early position off of less than a 20 big blind stack. We go three ways to a flop of king, king 10, two diamonds and a heart. Small blind checks to me, I bet 2000, just the button makes the call. And when the dealer puts out a seven of hearts on the turn, I only have exactly a pot size jam behind. I'm still likely to be good here and I wanna protect against all the potential draws out there. So I go all in and the button throws ace jack offsuit face up into the muck. After break, I get in my last 12 and a half big blinds with queen jack and diamonds against ace queen offsuit. Somehow we suck out with a jack on the flop. He doesn't re suck out. Yeah. You're still here. 10, 14. <laughs> and all of a sudden I have a stack that has spun almost all the way back to even, ready to make an epic comeback. 612 blinds, 1200 big blind in. 612 level, I think. 15 minutes later, I get my shot when under the gun opens to 3K at 1200 big blind. I peel the button with ace nine of hearts. The flop comes out queen jack five, two hearts. He checks to me. So I bet 4,000 trying to take it down right here. Instead of just calling, he raises to 9,000, tiny little raise. I have only 30,000 something total. So I rip it all in. I need to see all five cards with this nut flush draw. He snap calls, so not feeling great, but we could always get there. He turns over ace queen offsuit. So now we just need to find a heart. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen. And that was bullet number one. So close to a nice little spin up, but here we are. Bullet number two. I open aces under the gun to 2,700. Cutoff makes it 6,000. Big blind cold calls the 6,000, and I've only been here for about one orbit, but he has played 100% of pots so far. I four bet to 15,000. Cutoff calls, big blinds out of there. Pop is king, queen, 
something. I bet 10,000 guy shoves. I call all in for my remaining 15 and more than that. He just has pocket queens. <laughs> so lose aces to queens for the bullet number two. But the play in this tournament was really good, let's say. I would, I would definitely play as many bullets of this tournament as you can. And any, basically any weekend event. A bunch of people are excited to be here, it feels like, and are just splashing around here for vacation. So yeah, that's the type of play that you wanna see. Plenty of action. Nobody's scared to get their chips in. Looking forward to more. I'll be back tomorrow. I ran home and immediately fired up the live stream and it turned out to be an exciting one. King Jack versus Aces, Ace Jack. Ooh, let's hit a 10. Oh my God, we did. <laughs> Um, was that the final table? I believe we're at the final table. This could be it. Let's go. Ace queen versus a seven. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Yay to all 750 something of you guys. We did it. That'll cover all the housewarming bullets for the weekend. <laughs> I've really been enjoying doing these live streams. So if you guys wanna check them out, hit the bell on this channel so you're notified when I've run home and fired up the stream. Welp, after having zero line on day one A, this line today was insane. So I was really excited that I put some money on my online account, printed out a ticket. I did have to wait about 25 minutes in a late reg line, but finally we got to our seat. So we sit down pretty short stacked, three people busted almost immediately. We were playing six handed for quite a while. Nothing really goes my way, a card dead. I jam all in a couple of times, don't get called. Then I move tables, jam ace eight and run into pocket eights and do not suck out. That's all she wrote for the housewarming. Didn't last long in that one, but I was excited to have a seat at Paris and check that out. Besides the tournament area, there's cash games here, sit and goes, the King's Lounge. So if that's more your speed, this is where you'll play. My next event is a $600 deep stack event, also a turbo. And when I walk into the tournament area, I'm met with a massive line. Definitely worth it, you guys, to load up your account and then use the kiosk if you wanna come in and buy in without waiting in line. Right now I'm walking all the way over to the Bally's side because we're in Bally's Orange. I kinda like the walk. It's not very long, it takes about five minutes. It's cool to get use of both properties. There's lots of stuff in between shops, food, can't go wrong either way. 30 minute levels in this one, 30K starting stack, and today I'm feeling ready to battle. I haven't even got myself situated before I look down at pocket queens in the big blind. Four other people have come in for 800. I make it 7K from the big blind. Everybody folds, I show them the goods. Ooh, nice and immediately we're in the green. The blinds are up and button opens to 1K. I peel my big blind with 7-5 of spades. I love these little suited connectors, especially when the dealer puts out ace, queen, nine, all spades. Flopping a seven high flush, check it over to him on the button and he continues for 1,000. Just gonna make the call. The turn comes a queen of clubs. So I check it over to him once more. He bets 2,200. Again, just kind of slow playing this. I make the call. And the river is one of the worst cards we could see. It's another spade, the three of spades. So if he bets, I'm not gonna feel great about it. And when I check it over to him, not only does he bet, but he puts on his big boy pants and throws out 10,000 chips into the middle. Slight over bet, shaking my head, nothing I can do. I fold. Nice hand. Bad river for me. Really? Yeah. How about this? Aces? <laughs> I was I was really rooting for you to get the. Ooh, you hated that river. You I hated, hated that, that river, river for but sure. I also kind of like okay, Ooh. please. Oh, she she have a king spade. Please give her the king spade. It's too good of a hand. Yeah, yeah. Too good of a hand. We're still talking about that hand when I get dealt. Pocket sixes in the small blind. Low jack opens up to eleven hundred. I peel. And we both see the flop of 775 rainbow. Great looking flop for pocket sixes. So when he C bets for 1100, I make the call. The turn is a queen of clubs. I check it over to him and he looks pretty confident when he bets 2600. To me, if he had a better pair than I did and the queen came, I think he would have checked it back. So when he actually bets this turn, he either hit the queen or he's just bluffing me. So I'm gonna take my chances, toss in the call. The river is not a great one. It's the ace of diamonds. Check it over to him one more time. He snap checks back and says he has an ace. 
Very surprised about that check back, but glad that he didn't put us in a tough spot. And moving on to the next one, a couple of hands back to back that didn't go our way. All right, buckle up for this one. Under the Gun 2 opens to 1300. Low Jack and High Jack both toss in the call. And I'm in the small blind with pocket tens off of 40 something bigs. And this is kind of the dream scenario to have this stack size and this hand to just go all in. I obviously want to raise and squeeze out some of that dead money in the Low Jack and High Jack. If I go a size that doesn't make it enticing for them to call, it's a lot of my stack already. So I'd rather just rip it all in, make it easier to play this hand. Unfortunately, Under the Gun 2, who has been playing, you know, pretty solid, she goes all in over the top for 33K. The other guys get out of there and I'm up against Ace King off suit. So we have a flip and it's an exciting run out. Bob comes out Ace, Nine, Eight, all diamonds. We could have the possibility of hitting some back doors, hitting a diamond, hitting some straights. The turn comes a 10 of clubs. <laughs> so we suck out on that top pair, but then the river is a queen of diamonds. So she has king of diamonds, right? Okay. Nice hand. Flushed over flushed by the end of it. I say nice hand to her, good game to everyone. And we're out the door in yet another turbo event. Well, that was an exciting last hand. Didn't go well for us though at the end of the day. And that's a wrap on all these turbo events. I tried to buy in for another bullet. The online registration is down right now. Definitely not gonna be waiting in a bunch of lines just to only have, you know, like 10 bigs again. So that's a wrap on the very first weekend. Gonna head home, put a vlog together, get it out to you as soon as possible. Maybe grind a live stream tonight. Met a couple of you guys in person. Always love when that happens. So thanks for coming up and sharing some love. All right, till next time, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.